Zash, has your research turned up anything else on this Tyrus ghost? Ni pate uvaro wi sandan suare kanidene akja swaluda is. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. Gine na kangan gisat. She's more useful to me than you are. Let me speak with her. Ni kademos in in pise me ban frumest hosida from. If you won't let me speak with her, I guess I'll just have to force her out. Thank you. That was just the opening I needed. You have no idea how disconcerting it is to be pushed to the recesses of your own consciousness. But you didn't call me here because you missed my company. What is it you need? Have you managed to find any more information about the Taris Ghost? Ah, yes. I did manage to sneak in a little extra fact-finding before I lost my bearings. It seems the ghost you're after was once a Sith from Darth Malak's invasion force that destroyed Taras a few hundred years ago. The ghost was one of the Sith left to die during the final bombardment, for some spiteful reason or another. We're all trigger-happy sometimes. Do you know anything else? Helios Malus at the Imperial base will be able to tell you more. If he forgets his manners, remind him you're my successor. Helios Malus. You were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I... I forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I had heard the most unfortunate rumors. Be careful you don't make that mistake again. Ah, yes, of course, my lord. You are most gracious. Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi Enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Have there been other appearances in other places? On the contrary, there have barely been any appearances at all. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padwan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi Masters. I can't. I can't do it. You know what? You want to move a rock? Get a quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. Jedi Code states, there is no passion, there is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion, there is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see... This line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. Asha, 
Sara, relent. That's an order. But I was winning. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara. But you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. Varric, Eli, and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan! Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. I found the databanks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She feels as though the Jedi don't trust her strength. I must show her that I do. Hmm. Yes, excellent thinking. Promise her power or wealth, something to win her trust. Let me think, what could we use? It must be something tempting to a young Padawan. Money? Power? Knowledge? A handsome young smuggler? That's it. Knowledge. Money, power, love, they're all too obvious, but knowledge? What's wrong with wanting a little knowledge? Ah, yes, here we are. This outpost here used to be occupied by the servants of a powerful Sith. Supposedly, they left behind a holocron when they abandoned the site in haste. Its contents are probably beneath you, but what Padawan isn't tempted by the lure of forbidden knowledge? You have a devious mind. I like it. I am only glad that I can please you, my lord. Of course, you will need to find the holocron first. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. I found the holocron. Excellent news, my lord. And I'm pleased to say that I found the perfect place for you to lure your Padawan to. An area of swamp near enough to Republic territory that you'll feel secure, yet remote enough that you'll be truly at your mercy. Where do you get all this free time? I am only doing my duty. I suggest you contact the girl using a hollow communicator from a nearby Republic soldier. In the past, Sith often used dark side holocrons to turn weak willed Jedi. If you can convince the Padawan to look, she'll fall easily. Shara Zavros, I've discovered an item that I believe might be of interest to you a holocron of some power. Who are you? How did you know my name? What makes you think I'm interested in a holocron? Holocrons are incredible sources of knowledge. Jedi value knowledge, don't they? There is no ignorance, there is only knowledge. But some knowledge is too dangerous for Padawans. Why call me? Why not take this holocron to one of the Masters? Ryan or Osera? Aren't you a Jedi? Why should you have to defer to them? I... well, yes. I am a Jedi. But even if I was interested, I shouldn't leave the base. This is your chance to show your masters that you're worthy of handling such a delicate item. You're right. I can prove myself. I'll come. Just tell me where to meet you. Are you familiar with this area of the swamps near the Republic base? Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. If they ask, I'll tell my masters I've gone to train. Sith. I should have known. Don't think you can kill me easily because I'm a Padawan. Even Master Osera can't beat me with a lightsaber. Here's the Holocron, as promised. A Sith who keeps his word. Now I've seen everything. 
Strange. I've never held one of these before. I expected it to be heavier. They are remarkable objects. Care to have a look inside? I don't know. The Masters don't let Padawans handle holocrons. It's probably more than you can handle anyway. Why is everyone always trying to tell me what I can handle? Behold the teachings of Darth Andral, Lord of the Sith. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. No. What am I saying? Is that what the darkness feels like? There comes a time when we all must reflect on our life's path. It feels good. It feels powerful. No! I should never have used the holocron! I can feel its darkness in me. The Jedi won't have me back now. Not after what I've done. What will I do? Your emotions are a powerful weapon. Embrace them. The Jedi told me to put my emotions aside. Do they know what this feels like? The darkness feels good. But the Order... The teachings... I, I don't know. What do you want from me? The Ghost in the Jedi Enclave. I must speak with him. The Ghost? But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith, and this one gives me an uneasy feeling. You said you would make sure there were no Jedi. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I'm not Darkseid. We are the sworn defenders of this Enclave and we will not have dark side rituals performed in it. You killed them! You killed the Masters! They are Jedi after all. This is all my fault. I should have known better than to deal with a Sith. Just summon the Ghost now. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. If this is what I think it is, know that I don't take kindly to betrayal. I am sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. What's this bloodshed in my grave? I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. Wait! Please don't kill me! Don't let him kill me! I'll do whatever you say. Agree to be my apprentice, and I will spare you. Whatever you say. What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries, at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? I wish to devour you and take your power for my own. Ha! Huh. You don't have the ability to overwhelm me. Sith, what did you just do? I took the power that was rightfully mine. What happens now? I am your master now. I don't know. I guess I can't return to the Jedi after this, can I? Fine, I'll come. There's the easy way, the hard way, and then there's your way.
looks as if we have two new travelers. The ghost and a little Jedi pet. Wonderful. The pirate thinks he has another ghost story for us to investigate, too. My lord, it's Carl, your apprentice. Corrin's here with me. We don't have much time to talk. Thanaton tried to make us his. Claimed you were dead. We managed to free Drummond Cars, but his lords have been hounding us through every sector. Where are you now? We've set a course for Quesh, a nasty little swamp world. The warfare on the planet should allow us to hide from Thanaton. We need your help. We took something from Thanaton, something to help you beat him. Lost. Ship's hit! Emergency landing on Quesh! Hurry! If Thanaton kills your apprentices, he will appear very weak indeed. It looks like hunting ghosts will have to wait. 